In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to bring the photos to create this background. So before we get to this point, we're going to bring some photos and welcome. This is a tutorial series. This is video number two. If you missed video one, click the link below so you can take all these tutorials in order. This is video number two. So what we're gonna do is bring the photos into Photoshop, right? I already went ahead and prepared a document for you. And what I basically did was this. I added this file, this object of the rule of thirds. I like to have something like that. And then I brought the castle to be in this line, in this third, touching these two points, right? Now, this is not mandatory, but it's good for composition. I'm not going to teach composition in here. You can search for videos on YouTube like uh, just search for how to uh, how to do composition or the rule of thirds or you can also use the golden ratio right the golden ratio spiral but in this case i'm just using this for your information and then i just went ahead and created this now this is an image that is not cut it has a mask so i'm going to teach you really quick how to take any image and create a mask that's what we're gonna learn in this video. So if I have this photo, a photo by Ragnell, Ragnell, right? This one, and I just copied that was to give some credit. And then I bring it here, right? Of course I wouldn't bring it like, I would download it and get the full, uh, the full resolution image, right? But in this case, if this was the image that I wanted to use, instead of doing this, like I could cut right like I could do this but this is destructive like I could do this and then delete I just extracted right and I can just have this now this is destructive that means I cannot go back so instead what I do is having this selected right let me just delete this object having this whole picture selected I can draw like a mask of this area and then go to where it says create a mask Boop. now look at this i have this image i'm going to hide everything else just to focus our attention in here and this is non-destructive if i want i can go to the mask look at this i can click on this little mask and then select color black and then paint right i'm going to be painting let me bring the default this one that brush and then I paint black that deletes right but if having that mask selected I go to white and then paint I bring it back right now what if I pick gray well it kind of makes it a little bit transparent so this is pretty cool because this way I can create very interesting effects like one of the things that Miguel Mendez does is that he selects the entire image pressing Control A. Let me just show my pressing Control A and then selecting black and painting everything black with uh, pressing Alt backspace. Now this created an entire black image and then he can be revealing it bit by bit, right? And I can be very soft about it. I can lower the opacity, for example, of my of the black and then start revealing it bit by bit. That is incredibly useful, especially when you do that with smoke, right? So instead I could use the soft round, right? And then make it bigger and also reduce the flow and then do it like this, right? And so I can create this dreamy and whenever I want, I can bring it back. I can go to here remember i'm not drawing on the image i'm drawing on the mask and then i can go to black and then delete it delete back again or select white and then bring it back right so this is incredibly useful the settings i'm using is opacity 50 and flow 50 around 50 for both now how do you do this in Clip Studio Paint or Krita or other software. Well, let's check how we do that in there. In Krita, Krita is a free software. This is how you do it. You have that same image and I can do the same. I'm selecting this, the freehand selection tool, and I do the same thing 
And with that layer selected, I go to the create a new layer, click on this little arrow and then select transparency mask. And that's basically the same thing. If I paint something, if I select the brush tool, I just press B and paint something in black, it would disappear. And if I paint something white, it would bring it back and something in between them would create some transparency. And finally, in Clip Studio Paint, you do it like this. This is the one that is a little bit different. I'm going to select the lasso tool, just like in all the other times. And in here, I click that mask. Now, this mask works differently. In here, it doesn't matter the color. I can even select red or blue or whatever I want, and it doesn't matter. In, in Clip Studio Paint, the way the mask works is that you erase. So I have the mask selected. This, I have the layer selected. Click, I have the mask selected. So in here, instead I delete. So in here I'm deleting, you see? So whenever I, I delete the mask, is is deleted from the image. And then when I use the brush, in here I'm using the brush, it comes back, right? Now, again, I can delete and reduce the opacity, the brush density of this, and it deletes with some uh, blurriness, not some opacity, right? And of course, the same happens in here. I can bring the the opacity of this, bring not the size, the, the opacity, the opacity, and then it can bring back little by little, right? So that's how it works. In Clip Studio is the only one that is different because in Clip Studio, the way you do it is by painting or deleting. Uh, all the other ones is in a grayscale. Black is the lead, white is show. So that's how you do photo bashing and how you start combining the images, okay? So in here, what we're gonna do now going back to Photoshop is this. I'm going to mix these images down by deleting the, the, all this contour, right? In this case, I'm gonna use that technique by painting very carefully. This is in fast forward, very carefully outside and then delete. I'm using the mask and then delete what I don't need. And then finally, once I have the castle ready and cut, I can bring it here and see how it looks. Now, there are two ways in which I can show the trees. I can, option one, have the photo of the trees on, in front and use a mask, or I can also take that castle and then use a mask to hide that part of the castle and show the trees. Let me show you what I mean. Let's try method one. In here, I just make it a little bit invisible, lowering the opacity, and then remove the part of the trees and then look, I have it like that, but then I use white to bring back part of the image of the castle and bring everything together. Voila, we now have a castle between the trees. Now, of course, the picture right now looks very raw. And in the picture behind, you can see that we have a problem in here. Can you see it? Let me use a, another color right here. That tower, it, it's generating a problem for me. So what we can do is Use the lasso tool and then use Shift F5 to delete this, right? This is uh, something that is available in Photoshop. I don't know how to use this in the other software. You can explore it. It's called Content Aware Delete, right? And then to remove the other parts, because when I bring this, the castle, I can still see that there are elements in here that are still showing. So I need to use the stamp tool right here. The, that's where the clone stamp tool and then start cloning elements of the image and delete that by putting parts of the mountain and with that if I bring this yes now I don't see the castle I still see a little bit of white but that can be painted over when we do the painting and then I continue the same way with the mountains right this is playing in fast forward I just paint over it using the exact same technique and then the lasso tool to fill that with black. And that's it, we have the mountains. Now behind, I'm going to do the exact same thing I did and remove using the clone tool. So I can see like this, I need to see the sky and not that little mountain that was showing a little bit. Now I continue fast forward and just continue the same with the trees in here. I want to have this in front and then putting everything together 
the castle looks like this. And now, this is how you have all the trees, but we just ch checked method one, right? Which was using the, the brush. Again, the other method, method two, is using the selection tool. Like, if you have, like, if you have something like this one, you can go very carefully and draw the contour really carefully without worrying too much because if you go over it or under it, you can always go back and adjust the mask with a little white or black or if you're in Clip Studio Paint by drawing or deleting on the mask, okay? Now, there's an important note. In here, I want to pay attention to how the castle is working in here. Look, the light in this castle is coming in this direction, right? But if you can see on the reference below, for the trees, the, the mountains and the trees, the light is go coming from the opposite place. So what I need to do in here is do a flip like this. Now with that flip, I do again the selection and remove all the elements that I don't need. And now I have a castle. Now, let me pause right here. If you want to see exactly the state of this, you can go to step seven because I was kind of doing checkpoints when I was doing all this process and recording myself. And you can see that if you open step seven, we already did, took a couple of steps. This is where we are at. We have this layer, which is the castle, right? And then we have this other layer, which are the trees, right? And then I have this other layer behind, which is the mountains. And behind everything, we have the sky. So we have four layers. Now, in this case, I'm using the castle like this, right? It's, it's just a, it's a matter of preference, but you could also have the castle and have the trees on top like this. Oops, on top like this and have the trees in front of the castle, right? It doesn't matter because I'm using a mask, so I have the castle on top. And that's how we, ha that's what we have in right now. Let me see what's this. Okay, I'm gonna delete that, that was a test. Okay, so this is step seven. So you can check it out carefully and then, oh, so that's how he's doing it, etc. right? Okay, so that is good to know. Now, that is how you do photo bashing. This is not done yet, right? This is, again, we want it to look like a painting, like this. And where we are at right now is in here, right? Just pure pictures. This doesn't look good. This is okay for visualization, but it's not good for an end result because the colors don't match, right? The, the clouds are too saturated, the mountains, I, I darkened the mountains a, a little bit and also maybe because i skipped that part let me just show you how you can darken something inside photoshop and on all the other software basically i'm just going to duplicate this and bring it to the top basically is this image and what i did was go to image adjustments and then levels right here or you can press ctrl l that's how you would do it in photoshop and you can make it darker by bringing the whites down or you can make it lighter, right? Or you can increase the saturation like this. Look at that. So you can play around with the controllers, with the levels that I use this a lot. So that's what I use to darken it, right? Basically, I took this image. Let me just bring it, bring it forward like this. And I'm going to remove the mask. I just right click, remove the mask. This is how it was. And then I press Control L and just reduce like this until the mountains were a tiny bit darker. Okay, I'm showing you uh, very slowly so you can see what I did. Hopefully I'm making sense. Again, I know I'm going a little bit fast, but this is because I want to keep this tutorial short. But hopefully with the project files, you can go in and then see in more detail at your own, uh, at your own time and your own pace. Okay, so this is how you do photo bashing. Now let's go to the next lesson where we are going to be painting over it to get this result. Having everything look like a painting. Okay, so see you in video number three of this digital painting series for photo bashing. Okay, see you there.